I was exploring the most unhelpful responses by therapists for grieving people. And in amongst those were the therapist attempting to find meaning in the per the grieving persons, the grieving parents loss. Yeah. And that's part of the problem is that we want meaning to come quickly. We want opportunity or growth or beauty to come quickly. And that's just not how it works. And it, and it always has to be recognized and framed as it's always at too high a cost. I mean, I mean, I, my daughter's been dead 27 years going on 28 years. I will tell you, I have done a lot of amazing things since she died. A lot of amazing things. Um, I've worked, I volunteered to work with a lot of grieving people over the past more than a quarter of a century. I've started, you know, nonprofits. I've passed legislation. I've been a very busy person. And that's the energy of grief. I would give it all back in a nanosecond to have my child. The, the cost was too high. I love my life. I live a very big and very full life. I have a lot of energy. I feel joy a lot. I cry all the time. I have everything I need in my emotional, you know, pantheon and in the, in, within the, the realm of my emotional grasp to live the best, most vulnerable, open-hearted life possible. And I would give it all back in a nanosecond. Second to have my child. And so I, I don't love the word opportunity. I do love the word meaning because for me, I'm not even, I don't, I don't seek to live a happy life. Happy means nothing to me, but a life of meaning means something to me, a life where I can serve others and bring my child who died, bring her love forward into the world with me. That to me is a life of meaning because in a way, when I do that, she's still with me and and her essence hasn't died. Her essence is with me. That's not a denial of death. I'm very well aware she died. Um, I have her ashes tattooed in my back. So I'm very well aware that she died. That's not that's not it. I'm talking about the essence of her that I carry forward into the world. Not in the way I want to. I would rather be, you know, you know, tending to my grandchildren. Right. That's she should she would have grand. She would maybe have children by now. And I would rather be doing that than be doing this. I really would, but I don't get that choice. Right. And, and, and we live in a society that wants to bypass the intense pain yeah. and go to the, get to the quote, good part quickly. That's not how it works. And there is no good part when your child dies. There's just a life of meaning and in meaning, there is some beauty, the aesthetics of, of grief can sometimes be beautiful um, and, and connecting. Um, but we have, my belief is that we have to fully inhabit our grief to really ever be able to get to that place. You have to go right through the center of the hottest part of grief in order to be transfigured and be able to live a life of full, real meaning and transformation for self and other. But we don't. We, we, we abbreviate it every way we can. We abbreviate it with drugs and booze and sex and porn and gambling and food and shopping and everything we can to distract ourselves from it. You know, there was a Sam Kashavada said a uh, Thai forest monk said, uh, was talking to people who were looking for like the, the God path, the meaning path, the transformational path. And, and, uh, Sankha Shabda said, go ahead, ring your bells, burn your incense, light your candles and call out to your God, but look out because God will come and put you on his anvil and fire up his forge and beat you and beat you until he turns brass into pure gold. We just want gold. We don't want the beating. We want to go around it. And it just doesn't work that way, Mark. It just doesn't work that way. I know people want it and I understand why they want it because we're pain averse, but that's not possible. Just not possible. You've got to hear the full conversation I had with Dr. Joanne Cacciatore. We talk about loss. We talk about grief and ultimately why you have to face it. You can't run from it. Click on the link right over there to hear the full conversation.